Hey guys, welcome back to more Persona 5. And in this episode, we're going to continue on with the spaceport and hopefully find some more liquid mercury. Wow, it, only in Persona could that not sound really stupid. That is a very poisonous substance, but anyways. Now let's go. Let's go. Resume our exploration of this really long palace. Now the spaceport is uh first off, a great place to get these uh liquid mercuries. Now I mentioned this uh item previously in the Pyramid Palace. But now it's a little more relevant, since you don't have to fight just one enemy to try and grab it. And no, nope, instead we're gonna fight some slime, god dang. Well, might as well talk about it anyway. So, with this specific item, you can eventually create that ultimate lot pick. And I wanna do that crap, because a lot of the items are really good. So I'm actually probably gonna use a lot of my um, lock picks in here, just for the sake of getting rid of them, because once we have the unbreakable lock pick, We'll never have any use for the normal ones ever again, so... That's one thing to keep in mind, and please be the treasure team. <sighs> yeah, I can't complain too much. All, all RNG considered, I'm doing pretty well, like, given the fact that, like, you know, I have gotten all the other previous ones, and man. I like this palace so much. I just love this red nebula in the distance. Like, this is definitely, like, my favorite, like, little area, because I guess it's so open up. That's why I kind of, like, like it so much. Like, like it? <laughs> That's a Zelda enemy! Anyways, there are four Decorabia here, so, like, basically, this is the best chance you're gonna get, and there's even a safe room, like, really nearby, so you might as well take advantage of it while you're here, man. But, yeah. Gosh, I wish we could use Haru more inside of this palace, but I swear to God, she is so slow. And a lot of that probably, god dang it, has to be the fact that her persona is, uh, very large and in charge, but no, you guys actually kind of ruined Haru's persona for me a bit. I'm not trying to be like, like I'm mad at you guys or anything, but seriously. Someone pointed this out to me that when Haru's milady shoots out the bullets, uh, they come from a very um, private area for women. And um, yeah, I didn't see that the first time. It's pretty undeniable, actually. So that's a, I mean, it's not a bad thing, and I don't know if, like, the design was even intentional for the designer himself, but, uh, yeah, can't unsee that one, man, like, at all. I'm not even gonna try, and god dang, eventually, I'm gonna have to use Haru, though, because we're gonna run into some really tricky enemies in this specific little segment, but, speaking of enemies, man, we've already seen these, yes, I got one, heck yeah! I grinded up a little bit, that should put me at five, I really hope it does, I know I just won't shut the heck up about this god dang Mercury. Yes, only need five more. Oh my gosh. I'm stinking ecstatic about that because seriously my life is gonna be a whole lot easier because a lot of the really good items Especially in like the last couple of areas man. They all come from chests, dude. Oh My gosh, what a savage jeez No, don't mess around with noir, dude. I'm telling you but yeah, like I was saying before I need the chests to be open So I'm gonna grab that uh, mercury Probably at the end of this place, though, and man, I love that so much. That's probably my favorite one, I don't know. That was the first, like, all-out attack finishing, though, that we ever saw. And I, crap, was I really in Principality? I guess I was. Now he's gonna learn this useless skill I don't even give a crap about. Every time I see Principality, um, I rarely talk about this in videos, but there is, like, a, uh, origin to the Persona games. Now I know what you're thinking, yeah, it's called Persona 1. It's actually not. The first technical game in, like, the Shin Megami Tensei, like, Persona world is actually called Shin Megami Tensei If, which sadly has never had an English translation, which I hope changes eventually. I mean, come on, you guys, Atlas, could call it just Persona Origins or Persona Zero and Spyware Laden Gear. Okay, I've never actually read that. I know we can't use it till we get rid of it, but how would you go, how would you go to the laundromat? and clean off spyware. The dump. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, I don't know. I, I really think about that game a lot. Shin Megami Tensei If. Because, like, it... It did really set a lot of standards for what, like, you know, Persona was gonna end up being. For those who aren't aware of, like, the setting or anything, it, it doesn't give me... give it too much away for me saying this, but... It's basically a what-if scenario if the events of the first Shin Megami Tensei game never happen. And it's in a school setting. But the school's in the demon. I don't know, I like that. And, all right, we made it! Treasure's in here, yeah? Well, yeah, it's a big building. It's not gonna be right in front of us and just past this building. Definitely getting closer. I find it somewhat odd that we have still yet to see anything about the mental shutdowns. 
Well, this place is on the site of the corporate HQ, remember? We never told any employees about it. We may not find any hints toward its involvement. Well, worst comes to worst, we're just gonna have to get the info out of the shadow himself. Yeah, we could uh, interrogate him, I guess. Anyway, let us hurry inside. I believe the factory comes next. And he does. Before we go in here, oh gosh, I gotta fight this guy, but. Yeah, I don't know. Like, that game really did set, like, a lot of what Persona had to be. In fact, so much. Oh crap, I really wanna not be in, uh. Makoto right now. So much in fact that the Guardian uh, system was pretty much what a Persona is. It was like something close by you that was always at your side and like helps you fight. Granted, I've never played the game and I'm just basing all this off wiki articles, but you know, it still sounds pretty cool. And in fact, the outfits, or like the school uniforms, I guess, not outfits, actually very reminiscent to the school uniform from this game. So, is there a correlation? I don't know, maybe. Maybe not. One day when the game actually comes out, perhaps we'll find out. God damn! Oh no! We're gonna shock himself. Well, that's not good at all, is it? All right. Um, I guess it's up to Haru. Get in there. God, it's just so savage, man. What is wrong with her, dude? Well, I guess there isn't anything wrong. Oh, come on! We missed. God dang it! That is the worst part about Haru. I mean, I actually like her like skill set a lot, but um, unfortunately, yeah, she just doesn't really do a lot of damage. Like, she does great damage. I take that back. But uh, unfortunately. It rarely hits, which is the problem, which is like kind of a big thing in Persona. Because if you miss, well, you can't get the all out attack as easily. But then again, I don't know. I'm very biased. I think Persona is very lenient on its difficulty, especially this game. I was pleasantly surprised. I was like, oh, please don't like just have a noob gate. And I hate using that word noob. Oh man, I thought I was going to get a liquid mercury, but okay. Past uh, Atlas releases have been very unforgiving with specific encounters, and I'm like, please don't have that in this game. And it doesn't. I think Kamoshida's pretty darn easy, being the first boss boss of the game. But yeah, man, I, that was like Tangent City right there. <laughs> My main point is, yeah, SMTF is cool. I hope to play it one day. Also, Haru's cool. I like her move set a lot. She's bulky, you know, and uh, her persona has very interesting. Uh, Let's just go in the safe room and get off that subject, okay? This is not sex ed class. We're not talking about that anymore. And oh, come on! Oh, God damn! It. I swear if I get a stinky treasure demon. Hopefully, we get him eventually. Dang, this place is big. This really is a factory, just like the name says. What are they making here? Domino Pizza. Wait, they don't serve pizza. You think it's related to that Escape to Utopia thing? Hold on a sec. Ain't the guys here moving kind of weird? Oh, you're talking about- Oh, no! They're dying. And that means they're collapsing in the real world, too. I guess. This sucks. Unfortunately, this is the exact opposite of how you'd imagine a utopia to be. Their conveyor belts and the positioning of the workers is almost identical to the company's bun factory. I can't believe this. At the very least, this is how Okumura use his workers. My apologies for saying so, Noir, but this is truly atrocious. Well, <laughs> it'll all be under control if we can trigger the change of heart, yeah? Let's go. Yeah, Ryuji's right when you think about it. We have the tools to change this. So what the heck are we doing? Let's just change it right now and get to the end of this palace. Now, unfortunately, things are not as easy as they appear. Um, I'm not even trying to get the ambushes anymore, I just realized, and... Oh, snap! He's back! The Ambassador of Phil! Yeah, he's Tower Arcana. Also has access to concentration. I, I guess he concentrates on the... On the t I don't know. I don't know where they're going at with that. Now, however, you might recall this guy's weakness from, like, six hours into the game. So we need some fire skills to hit. Unfortunately, Huampo, uh, d wait, no, we have Dekarabia too, right? Where the crud are you? There we go. Awesome. We have Dekarabia. He can do some damage here and knock him down. Now, if you do fight this guy, just make sure you god dang don't have on on your side and you'll be okay. And didn't he use, a, like, wind originally? I don't know. I guess even demons like to switch it up from time to time, but... Yeah, he's not the most friendly of a, a foe, so I'm really hoping we can finish him off before he gets his last attack in. Great! 
Is the freeze elements just god dang annoying? I probably should have tried to recruit him actually, come to think of it. Oh, well, we'll have another chance to do that soon enough, but... And we got some more materials, but as I was saying before, yeah, the factory isn't as straightforward as you think, and... I think if they abridge this place by, like, one room, people would like it a little bit more, but yeah. There's a shiny thing, and an exit. I want that. The treasure must be right beyond that door. Is that gonna be another one of these authentic whatever things? No, there's no authentication here. Kind of anticlimactic, huh? Wait, we're so close and there's no guard? What? <laughs> I'm not complaining. Let's go. Yeah, sweet. We're already at the treasure. And there's even treasure leading to the tre- Oh, God, what the crud. Yeah, it's never that easy. Well, we almost got crushed. That freaking hunk of metal broke way too dang easy. There's no point in complaining at this point. We'll be forced to search for another route. But is there one? Yes, yeah, because it's a video game, silly willy. Do you think we might be able to use the brittle nature of these arms to our advantage? Maybe. And in fact, we have to, so I want to make sure to heal up because ew, some of the shadows in here are not too friendly, but uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. I don't know that they tease you like that. I, I like stuff like that for whatever reason. Not sure why. Oh, snap! One of my favorite demons, other than Mothman, and I know Mothman's pretty great. The woman who brings ruin. Also known as Lilim. I love that design so much. I'm gonna recruit her. I don't care what you say. Please save me. I won't tell the Midlord Okumura. Uh, wait, save you? You want to be saved? What the crap? All right, something's going on. Here. Oh my gosh, we got the auto recruit. Heck yeah! What's all the smooth talk? So you can play that game. Wait, I remember something. I'm not a worker for a factory making hamburgers. I'm Lilum. I mean, I'm yours after all. So let's hope we get along. Okay, join my team. Heck yeah, she's actually pretty freaking bad, but hey, why not get her? Might as well talk about exactly what she does, and oh man. I'm really happy they used this artwork instead of the old-fashioned one, but uh, has a lot of weaknesses. But annoying thing is, she will use Masakunda to make, like, the Mothman in her group really hard to hit. And that's just not good for anybody. We might as well get rid of Incubus. No reason to have him. Have I used Succubus, Lilum, and Incubus? I think I have, actually. It's kind of funny how they're all sort of correlated. But for some reason, Succubus wasn't a part of the Devil Arcana, but, oh well, not a huge deal. So yeah, I'm really happy about that. I'm just still trying to, like, I haven't decided if I want to fill up the compendium or not. It's really actually easy to do in this game for whatever, I mean, I understand what, whatever reason. This is the first time making, like, really HD models, but it's at least doable. So that's at least a goal to set myself towards, and what the, something came out? Huh? This is the control panel for the robotic arm. It seems we can use this to set it to either three times, five times, or ten times normal speed. I bet it break if we're stuck on ten times speed for a long time. Changing arm speed! Oh, okay, um... Hmm. If we do it too little, then it might not be enough to, like, help us progress. But if we do it, like, too much, it's gonna break. So maybe we should just do it in the middle. Then again, the- oh crap, I missed click. Oh! Ten times speed. I hope it's okay! Oh, there it goes. And yeah, that's how you make a break. <laughs> I love that so much. It appears to have broken. <sighs> it was dead like instantly. That was 10 times speed, but still, that's weak. Yes. That just proves how truly overworked these machines are. Seems an increase in workload would have led to its collapse. Hey. Wait, but don't you think we might be able to walk on the broken arm? We should check it out, Joker. Okay. So yeah, just a little Heads up, if you even moved it two times, it would have just completely been eradicated. I like that little attention to detail, and man. I don't know, I always had this idea that, like, just, okay. I know I'm a very fortunate individual, you don't gotta tell me. Like, I already know. Like, god dang. I like the best, like, grandparents in the world, when I really think about it. I never had to work, ever. Because, you know, they would just always give me spending money to buy the new Mario game, right? And I loved that. But... I still have this idea that I probably should do some sort of uh man god why is our person why is our main character so slow but I have this idea that I really should eventually do some sort of not it doesn't have to be fast food I guess but I still want to do at least one like job in my lifetime that like is in the food preparing like industry just so I have like an understanding of what other people go through I think for the most part, I like don't really give like wait staff and like people who prepare my food a hard time. But some of the people in my life, like friends of friends and stuff, just do, and it makes me so irate. One time I just couldn't like I was I might have gave someone a scolding, 
Because they're being particularly rude to our uh, waiter. I don't know. I, I feel like it was still justified. That guy didn't do anything wrong. And it was his first day working there. But I don't know. I've been thinking about that a lot more lately. But after playing through this palace, man, I don't know if I want to, dude. I mean, gosh. I, I wouldn't do it for the money. I'd do it more so for the uh, just experience, really. Which is kind of my main goal. I don't know. I feel like I like to experience like what other people go through. Like a day in someone else's shoes, right? That's never a horrible idea. As long as I'm not working at Okumura Foods. That's my input on that. <laughs> but god dang, like just a I know there's actual people. I'm, I really didn't want to go into Elagor. Let's see if I can't get into Where is he? God Decoravia, there you are, goodness. Like, I know some people just have it real bad, like, that's why I think, like, sometimes if bosses, like, work in their industry... Oh my gosh, we got so lucky back-to-back. -back. They work in, like, their actual business and see what their workers go through and stuff. Wasn't there some, like, cruddy, like, TV show like that? I, I know that's all, like, kind of just staged and stuff. I, I always thought that was a really good idea. If I ever owned a business, and technically I might be incorporating soon. That's just to save on taxes. I'm not gonna have employees or anything, but... At least not yet, but... What am I talking about? Uh, my potential business? I don't know, but, uh... Damn, man, I always thought that was, like, a kind of a cool idea. Like, do you think Mr. Okumura would do that? No, he's too busy trying to get into politics. And pimp out his daughter. Okay, pimp out is a strong word, but it's basically that. Let's not beat around the bush. <laughs> Seriously, man. This is the stuff I think about. Where the crud you come from? It's rolling up into my hood. Stinking not even saying hello. And just attacking me willy-nilly. I don't know how I feel about that, man. Well, Kumara, you gotta train your employees to not kill people. And changing arm speed. Let's go. Yeah. That's how you progress through this room. It's very convoluted and there's a little bit of backtracking, but I don't know. Still not bad. I still think this is not the weakest palace in the game. Like some people think. Honestly, like, despite all the praise I gave it, I think it'd have to be the bank. At least so far. Oh, actually. Spoiler warning, I like the other palaces in the later game, the good too. And God dang it, are you kidding me? Wait, no way, no, no, yes! Oh my gosh, finally. Okay, so this is, finally, the treasure demon I wanted to fight. Koai Nuor. I probably said that wrong, don't give a crap. Okay, so here's the deal with this specific shadow. It has no weakness. However, it does not completely block, like, your physical attacks. So, here's the best chance you have. Spam all your bullets and hope for a crit on your main characters. Like, that's the best you can do. Alternatively, another great thing of- Oh man, she only has one bullet. Let's pray. Ah, I didn't get it. Bummer. Oh well. You can also use Morgana's Lucky Punch. This is the best move I've had, like, for getting this and- Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> Holy crud. You eventually get a skill called Miracle Punch. I don't think it increases the crit chance. Could be wrong about that, but that's also something to look forward to. Join my team. My existence shall become a new part of you. Ooh. I think this one is based on Queen Elizabeth. I don't know. I looked it up like two days ago. I forgot that crap because I was looking how to sell Disney pins on eBay. That's what I really do with my research hours for these videos. Get out of here, Juanpo. Heck yeah! So, like, now that we have this uh, treasure demon, my god. I can use that on, um, what's his name? We just got him. Belfagor. That's it, right? Yeah. To, um, get access to concentrate. Oh my gosh, I'm so stinking excited. Holy crud. Okay. Very happy. Now all I gotta do is worry about getting those goddamn uh, look of mercury, and we're gonna be sitting pr Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. Oh my gosh. I am I just clear this whole place, no problem now. Oh man, you don't understand how bit- What the cr- Did that just pop out of nowhere? I guess it did. Well, I guess it's because it was up there originally, but... That takes a giant load of crap. Off of my mind. I'm so goddamn happy right now. Cause like, if I don't encounter him, I gotta hope I find him in Mementos. And that's just no fun. Anyways, before we go any further, please give me the Haru scene. It's so goddamn adorable. I just wanna see it. No, we got more gotta. God dang it! Why? Eh, whatever. Anyways, this uh has that in it. The Fury Blade, not really um super required for Yusuke. And in fact, I think inflicting rage on opponents is Nine times out of ten, a pretty bad idea, but, eh, they look kind of cool, so I'll take them. Anyways, the next thing got destroyed, and it's all the way back there, so, yeah, we gotta backtrack a bit. It's not very exciting. Oh, man, we're just talking about that skill. Heck yeah, so Miracle Punch. It's just medium damage. I don't know, it's better than minuscule damage, right? I know, grab it. 
It's pretty much all positive. Then again, the amount of times that attacks actually hit. I don't know. Has it really been worth it keeping it? I don't know. Probably. And look, we've gotten much closer. Yes. After quite the detour. Yeah, no kidding. God. This whole factory was just... Alright, well... You can't progress anymore, but... Yeah, if you're curious, this is just how you get over here. It's pretty self-explanatory. This room isn't really that big. You, you should be fine, right? But, yeah, despite getting the treasure demon, I'm going to make sure to show everything I possibly can. Or at least all the treasures that I know of. And I'm going to go on Mithras, just to make sure we don't die. Because I'm on an Elagor. Ugh, that'd be really bad. And Yeah, there's more. I feel your same uh, pain, buddy. This place is long. And this section, uh, oh boy... I hope you understand how to use the sprint button, because if not, you're not going to like it too much. So essentially what we have to do here is, we have a time limit. And I know t time limits are always so fun in games, but uh, this one's not so bad. It's just kind of, I don't know, needless. I think that's the word I'm looking for and from the look of it. There's only one more door. Seems we should head over there. Yeah, here's the problem. Wait a second. I will not be able to reach it without passing over what appears to be a hydraulic press. Right. I guess we should have to stop it. Let's try a way to do that first. Yeah, but seriously, you guys are fan thieves. You could, you could get over that. I don't know. Then we wouldn't have a we wouldn't have a little puzzle for the palace. So it's whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I, when I was a little kid, time limits would legitimately scare the living crap out of me, no matter what game it was. And like, I never fully enjoyed one of what would, would later become one of my favorite games ever, Majora's Mask, just because of that aspect. And this must be a shift that controls the presses. You can select break, lunch, or unpaid overtime. Wait, break is an option? Uh, we may be able to get past that problematic press if we can find the corresponding control panel. Let's do this, Joker. So yeah, yet again, it gives you options, but only one's the right answer. Set it to lunch. Break doesn't do anything. Yeah, and just go all red like what? Lunch doesn't don't don't comprehend. It's now lunchtime, and the hydraulic presses. Well, sir. Yay! Let us consume our slop gleefully and re <laughs> All right, lunchtime to last thirty seconds. God, yeah. So these robots don't have very long to eat, and we don't have very long to get to the next hydraulic press. But if you took down all the enemies, you should be fine. And as long as you just mash X, gosh. It's kind of... I don't know how to feel about it. You have to take care of all the enemies, and you'd only know about this prior if you cleared the palace. I don't know. Or at least, hey, maybe you just randomly decide to go kill that enemy. I don't know. Then again, I don't know. I mean, maybe you disagree. Maybe you didn't have any problem with this, and despite like fighting that first enemy, you could knock him out. But all I know is the enemies take forever to do their turns. So that always took a lot of my time away, and that angered me slightly. I don't know, but anyways, next console. It's another one, right? Shall we set it to lunch again? Yeah, we don't have any choice. Yep, I actually did some research into this. Only two options are meaningless. Break only lasts for five sec- What? Well, unpaid overtime doesn't change anything at all. Wait. What do you mean it doesn't change anything? It's probably because the workers here are constantly working unpaid overtime. What a nightmare. Ah, uh, poor Haru. Regardless, those options are no use to us. So I best if we simply choose lunch from now on. Okay, and speaking of lunch, man, we're getting hungry. We need to hurry up and beat this food-themed palace. Well, then again, it's kind of more like tech-themed. I don't know. Anyways, more lunch, and I'll stop that one. So now we got to get all the way back there to uh, re-energize and enjoy our slop. Unfortunately, there's going to be more enemies, so... Eh, it can be a little rough if you don't clear out the enemies, but we should be okay. Never mind! Let's try that one more time with less enemies in the room. How does that sound? Where the crud is that giant sign that says time is money? Pretty sure it's right there. It's one of like the few English signs in the game, but I don't got time to look for it because, well, time is money. Wait, is it over here? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's like one of the actual few English signs in the game. Well, I guess that's not true. But you know what I mean? Whatever. Get out of my way, dumb robot. All right. Now that goon's out of the way. We're as close as we can get to the door. Also, we ran out of time, but, uh... Yeah, it's not really relevant anymore, since we're already on this side. Also, there's, like, a little, like, treasure right over there. Go grab it if you want. I'm not gonna go out of my way, since I already have the treasure demon. But if I didn't have it, I totally would have. Anyways, this, uh, this module's just to get back. 
don't really worry about it, despite it being having a, you know, check mark on the map. Doesn't actually matter. What does matter is the, you know, safe room drive is there, so I'm gonna go fuse another persona. If you guys don't like that, I'm sorry, and you guys want to hurry up the conversation? Want to go through the door? Nope, just gonna keep, just keep going. Usually I like reading this, but, uh, when you have auto on in-game, it scrolls way too fast. So sorry about that, but I need that so the cutscenes scroll fast, so. You know, it's like the lesser of two evils, basically. I could talk to you all day and night on how, like, <laughs> they screwed up one thing in P5, which is the, um, text auto-scrolling. It's slightly different than in P4, and this is the ultimate nitpick, but for someone that makes videos, that only affects me, and god dang it. Let's see, uh, what our personas are looking like. Alright, we should be able to do this. I want to get concentrate on, um, one of my persona. Because I feel like I've been using too many physical skills as of late, and they're really strong, so... Kind of want to change things up a bit, but before we do any fusion... You know what we must do. Need to register first. God dang. Want to do that every single time, because in P5, oh boy, is that important. Okay. So let's think about this. Um, wait, did we show off? We didn't show off its, um, the new treasure demons, uh, thing. And it's of the Priestess Arcana this time, so. Let's check out its background. So it resists everything and has dodge on everything. Very obnoxious, I must say, and once called the world's largest diamond. It was cut when it came to the British royal family. It is said to bring bad luck to any man who wears it. So only the females have ever adorned it. I don't know. I think that's kind of cool. It's very spooky for a treasure demon. It's a cool crown, all around, and we're gonna sacrifice it a bunch of times to make sure Belphegor levels up. But before that happens, I don't know. Let's try one of these real quick. And I don't think have we ever shown off the electric chair? I don't think we have yet. So I'm thinking, right? We need fire skills and light skills for pretty much the rest of this. Let's just fuse this new demon that gets them both. That works for me, right? And uh, yeah, Kaiwan is a distant cousin of Patrick Star. No. He's actually an Assyrian legend. His name is interchangeable with Sakut, another incarnation of the star god Saturn. Okay then, yeah, he actually appears in this palace because it's, you know, the whole idea of space and stars, I guess. Also, yeah, he's very creepy and has no correlation to Dekarabia at all. And I am Kaiwan, Wee! I'm gonna be a new mask. I'm gonna change your fate. Right before I spin around. Ooh, a lot of fun. Yeah, he's freaking ugly and weird. But god dang if he doesn't have a good magic stat. And also gets Speedmaster. Apparently this guy is very speedy. Not the main focus of what I'm trying to do, but I just don't want to have a uh, principality anymore. Because I god dang hate angels. No, he's actually just really low level. But now we got him out of the way. Let's go ahead and... Why the crud do I do that again? Oh yeah, it's Strength and Persona. So we're basically going to be combining... Kawai Nor and uh, where the crud is he? God, I can't find anything today. Belphegor, until he gets his last skill, which, uh, just a heads up, this is gonna cost a lot of money. This is not required by any means, but just so there's a little bit more variety in how we attack enemies in P5, I figure why not, right? The earlier you get access to concentrate, it's only gonna help you out more, and yeah, kind of think this might actually take a while. And okay, many fusions later, I finally did it. My toilet demon has access to concentrate, which I mean, I don't know. You don't really need it for any upcoming fights. I just wanted early access to it. And uh, yeah, why, why does Satanta get charged so much earlier than this guy? I don't really know. But yeah, this skill in conjunction with Mabafula is just going to make one specific counter in this video. It's going to make it go by a little bit faster. That's the only reason I want it, but now that we got that out of the way, all right, we are on Kaiwan, and a really good thing to make sure that we have Kaiwan on is uh, he does have Speedmaster, which is pretty good. So if you want to start the battle with him, that's not a bad idea, but on to exploring more of this factory. And I got to say, man, I'm trying my best to make this place like a little bit lively up, but this specific section of the spaceport, holy dump, it has to be the most boring part of the game. But I mean, that's not like the end of the world. Like no matter how like amazing and grand your game is, right? It's not gonna like, come on, every part of a game is gonna have the low segment. This is what I think, this specific area, it just doesn't really 
do that well for me. There isn't like a puzzle that you're like figuring out. You're not flexing those cognitive thinking skills, you know? You're just hitting levels and run into stuff. Which I mean, I guess in itself is kind of exciting, you know, to like have to do that, like having to sort of test yourself against a time limit. I guess to some people that can be fun. Just speaking for myself though, it isn't the most exciting palace in the universe. And based on what actually people have told me, like their favorite palaces have been greatly different than my own, which uh, I guess is either half like Atlas making all the palaces, like at least somewhat around the same area of like, you know, levels of fun, all right? And I actually wanna try Miracle Punch because I don't wanna deal with this guy. So Miracle Punch actually looks really cool. I like how that looks, it only does slightly more damage a little bit. Yeah, I don't know, this isn't like, the, uh, the worst bounce. Just this little segment, yeah, probably could be a little bit better. That's all I'm saying though, but all around, man, if I really have to like break it down, just, this is a really well-designed game, like all around, like the mechanics, like I think it's the most fair Persona game for both the shadows and your main character, like cast of characters, right? Because encounters aren't a total pushover. And I really, really like that. Because I like things to be fair, you know, and exciting. And oh, snap! Look. It's a bunch. It's, G it's General Mustard! In the, in the ballroom with the robotic arm! For the company, for our wonderful president, Mr. Okumura, I do this with joy. Alright, cool. Keep that to yourself, though. I don't really care. And you're still respecting them, even though they probably see co workers collapse. We ain't overworked. It's mind control. They're being purposely driven into a state of over adaptation. Over what? Yes. When a person is continually faced with oppression, they come to welcome its presence. Such psychological trickery is being used here. I experienced it at first hand for many years. Fox. So these robots exist because Father is aware that he's exploiting his employees? Yes. We should be careful, though. I doubt we'll be able to communicate with these ones. We'll probably go straight into a battle once we approach them. Let's just prepare beforehand. Okay! Woo! Oh yeah, there's a laser wall. Crap, so we gotta go the long way around, but... Yeah, those guys are annoying. That's why I built, uh, Belphegord. Kick their butt. Anyways, glory to the wonderful president, Okumura, and him alone! We shall give our utmost- yeah, shut up, we're going to lunch. Speaking of lunch, man, what is your favorite lunch? For like, <laughs> your school lunch. For me, it was always the chicken sandwiches, and we had these little things of hot sauce. Oh my gosh. Then I realized the chicken sandwich was probably not even chicken. It was like beans and stuff. But I didn't mind it. It still tastes pretty good. Just throwing that out there. Anyways. Are you kidding me? Holy crud, that is really lucky. Alright, I'm gonna try and get this thing and- I know it's a giant waste of time, but I don't give a crap. We have like no bullets, but I'm still gonna try and get a second one of these. I don't think it's gonna work either. Bummer. Uh, we, we won, but we didn't get it. God dang it, son of- Oh well. When you really have like zero bullets left, what are you really gonna do? <laughs> okay, so chances are, yeah, now we should be fine. But what the crow's I talking about before I get distracted by that treasure demon? Oh, yeah, the balance of Persona. All around, I think P. Oh my god, get up the thing. <laughs> the balance of P5 is pretty darn good. Like, sure, guns and stuff, they're not like super overpowered, but at least they give you like some advantage in battle. And speaking of segues, there's actually a gun in here. How about that? And oh, we didn't get Haru. We got Morgana twice in a row, god dang. But hey, we got No Mercy. It's a pretty good gun for On, but I don't know why you'd ever use it. It's kind of poopy. Just throwing that out there. Yeah, like, so guns aren't like, they're not super powerful, right? And in fact, I'd say they're even a little bit underpowered because even if you put a lot of money, a lot of, into upgrading your guns and making sure they're always really strong, you're still only gonna have so much ammunition for them at the end of the day, right? But like, that's not a bad thing, right? Because like, the gun element is a thing in the game. Like, I, I just like the fact that they are at least present. Sure, they're not super powerful, and sure if you use them every single encounter, you're probably not gonna have enough bullets to last you a whole palace, but that's okay. I think the whole trade-off of like, once you use a gun attack, it's not the end of the world and your turn can still continue was really smart and hey, those guys! So don't worry about them for now. Can't make it there unless we stop that press. Yeah. Now talking about something we usually get. But um 
yeah, like seriously, that, that was a really smart move on Atlas. Like they were really good about, in my opinion, rebalancing the game since the fourth uh, entry in the series. Because if you did a 100% run in that game, the extra like cut in attacks and all the like extra stuff you would get would really make the game a little like, I don't know, unfair for the shadows. I, maybe I'm the only person that thinks that, but uh, it was something I started to notice, like, wow, it is really hard to lose. But if I'm not always topping myself off and uh, fighting Gira McCullough, etc., there's a very high chance I could just straight up lose the battle because, well, first off, this giant fat elephant piece of crap has god dang access to um, Madoon. Thought it was Mama Doom, but no way it'd be that strong guy. Which is very obnoxious. So, like, there is still a very high chance you can lose your whole party in just a matter of seconds. Is that gonna happen to me? Yeah. About to find it. Wow, we actually almost dodged everything. We're almost to the point where we can actually recruit this guy, which would be really exciting, because, I don't know, he's at least g decent uh, fusion fodder. I think I'm level 41 right now. I don't know what I'm gonna end at, but. Chances are we should like be outside this palace like maybe in the 45s. I don't know Realistically, you're not expected to recruit every single shadow when you enter a palace Something got because you imagine grinding up to get Elagorn oh, One major complaint I get from you guys is that I beat the battles too quickly to where you don't hear the whole song the last surprise Man, I'm sorry. I'm so good at the video game. I don't know I'm just kidding. I know you guys are just poking fun at me, but that's something I did notice like wow Yeah, if you didn't if you you only watch these videos You'd think last surprise is a really short song, and I'm sorry. I'd cut you off Haru. God dang it. Always doing that in persona and in real life. Anyways, we got shield goggles Very situational items I think they like decrease like confusion or something I don't know why those items are even a thing in Persona. I've never used those ever, but hey, maybe like there is a specific enemy that's giving you a problem and you don't want to deal with him anymore. So that's why you got that. But yeah, SP adhesive, uh, kind of the best item ever. Don't know why you use anything else, but yeah. Now we just got to get over to that press. We're pretty much done. All around, I am incredibly impressed with like the balance, but still at the end of the day, if you fuse your Persona right and you always have your main character being the fastest, Pretty much no matter what you should stomp a majority of encounters just because well all out attacks just do so much damage And this will take us directly to those dangerous employees, but they have to do this. I smell the treasure somehow Brace yourselves, okay, and yeah, I'm just gonna tell you straight up how to win this fight no matter what pretty much just bring Haru and Just don't bring on you should be okay, but I'm gonna like mess around a little bit. Let's just try something so I'm gonna definitely start the battle with Kaiwan and uh Hmm. Why don't we bring Yusuke with us? I think that'd be a good idea. And we'll bench Makoto. Why not? She's a little bit low, and I'll be honest, I'm pretty much been only using Makoto, it feels like. And now that she has Medea Rama, god, she's gonna be very handy. And hello there! For the company, for our wonderful president, Okumara! And who approaches this place will be crushed. We shall carry out President of Will with Glee. Alright. Whatever you dorks want. So yeah, these ones are really god dang annoying. That's why I fused Belphegor. And we're gonna kick some butt. So, uh... You actually kind of think of it, man. Having, a uh, Makoto would be really nice to get rid of that. Uh... Oh well, what are we gonna do? I could use an item, but... They come back so quickly, it's just such a pain. So let's go ahead and use the Maku. Oh no! The tiny ones resist it! What shall we do? I actually really want to like yeah use uh, Makoto here instead of Morgana whoopsies, but it's fine So we're gonna go into uh, Which one do we want? Where is Belphegor at and his stupid porcelain throw? There we go So let's use the Mubafula knock all these punks down get out of my way crap We missed one unfortunate, but uh Hey, that's actually a blessing in disguise when you think about it if you miss even one opponent you can just get the the extra attack and yeah, despite having our evasion lowered, we just still hit them all, and this all-out attack will finish them off. God dang, I don't know, man. It's, it's kind of on the easy side. Heck, we don't even need concentrate. If just Yusuke has a reliable source of damage, we should be fine. And yeah, this is pretty much this whole battle. This is why I kind of want to speed this thing along, right? It's not too terribly engaging, at least in my opinion. Your opinion may differ, and if so, hey man, that's cool with you. You know, I, I think it's easy, but I think it's cool. 
I'm just trolling y'all. Anyways, get another all that attack going. Is Yusuke going to be able to even act? I threw him in here so that he could. Anyways, this is the last wave, but still, god damn. And it just keeps defaulting back to Morgana. Like, we saw the same we saw the same thing three times. Think about that, but yeah, I don't know. There isn't a lot that really separates these guys from anything else. They just try and debuff you. And chances are, wait, how do we not? Oh, I actually missed one? Holy crud. I should have put Tom Pass to Yusuke, so at least we can see, yeah, he has access to the ice skill too, but they're not only weak to ice, I believe, and I'm going to feel so dumb if this is wrong. Psychokinetic attacks also work, so Haru is also great to bring here, but all around, yeah. This new uh, wave of enemies, right. not really cutting it for you, Okumura. You might want to hook it, you know, get a different model going, because god, they suck. The heck? That was easy as heck! Well, I mean, they are overworked, brainwashed, and forced to go up against an impossible enemy. Hope nobody ever treats me like that after I turn back into a human. Hmm. Hey. Come on, let's keep going. Don't still look so down, Noir. I mean, God. <sighs> She's seeing firsthand how, like, horrible all of, like, you know, her dad's employees are being treated. It's understandable. I'm just saying, what in the... Oh. Fuel addition has increased output. Incinerator throughput has reached approximately 270%. What the heck? The employees are being dumped into the incinerator. No. They're turning all the worn down robots into fuel. That means the power source of this factory. It's the It's the people's lives, God. Noir, are you okay? I'm not Huh? I love it. I love it so much. I'm not going to forgive my father for this. I can't believe this. Let us go, everyone. We will change his heart no matter what. Yes. Right. We're with you all the way, Noir. Heck yeah. We're not gonna let him get away with this, but... Yeah. Their sacrifice won't be in vain. Now that we know exactly what's going on here, we have the tools to stop it. We're so close to that treasure. Oh, man. We're gonna change that heart so fast. Oh! And oh, boy. The final area of the spaceport. It's, uh... Pretty scary! If you actually think about it. Yeah, we're just straight up in space now. Holy crud. This is called the airlock area. Wait, does that mean we have to go into space? Mm, putting it lightly, I believe such an action would lead to our extermination. Yeah, we're not robots. We went out of suits. What the crud? Well, apparently you'll be okay for like 30 seconds if you keep your eyes and mouth shut. I don't know about all that. Uh, honestly, I would have thought we'd just explode out there. Uh, oh, don't scare us, dang it! Seriously, man, I know this place is made up of our cognition, but seriously, going into space. Can you even see the little robots flying out there? That's a nice touch. But this is actually where we're going to be stopping for this episode. I wanted to get through this next area, but man, those goddamn robots just kept slowing me down. So, in the next episode of Persona 5, we reach Okumura's treasure and hopefully wrap up this palace. So, see you guys then. Bye.